Canaveral Air Force Station, Florida, August 30th, 2012. NASA launches two probes into space in order to study the Van Allen radiation belts, a pair of donut-shaped particle zones that surround the Earth. After two years of collecting data, NASA scientists discover a surprising phenomenon. The Van Allen belts are operating as a protective dome, shielding the Earth from dangerous radiation. Our planet is constantly flooded with particles from space that are charged that if they made it through the atmosphere would actually be quite damaging radiation to light. But because of the Van Allen belts and the combination of magnetic fields and charged particles already there, incoming charged particles are sent on curved paths that safely protect the Earth and we don't get hit by them. The Van Allen radiation belt is one of the most phenomenal scientific phenomena to be discovered in recent times. One of the things that's so shocking about it is that it's changing and mutating as if it's intelligently directed. The Van Allen belts may be an advanced technology that we still don't really understand. A technology that actually is blocking not just natural cosmic particles from the sun from coming in, but potentially protecting the Earth from extraterrestrial weapons that might use some sort of particle beam technology from ever being able to make its way in here. Were the Van Allen belts designed by extraterrestrial beings to protect mankind from other hostile alien factions? Might there really be an extraterrestrial defense system protecting the Earth from attack? Ancient astronaut theorists say yes and suggest further evidence that there is an alien faction policing Earth's airspace can be found by examining modern-day UFO crashes. Well, we've had some great stories of crashes, Roswell, Cape Girardeau, Missouri. They're all over the place. And you say to yourself, how could they crash when they have that kind of technology? Is it possible that even now, warring factions of extraterrestrial so-called gods are in fact duking it out over what happens on Earth and wars that we see in ancient texts like the Mahabharata or the Bible could be still playing out in our skies as we speak. Could we really be at the center of an extraterrestrial conflict that dates back to before the dawn of human civilization on Earth? Ancient astronaut theorists say yes and suggest that our survival may be dependent upon an ancient defense system that has existed for thousands of years, right beneath our feet.